Hey, after all you LEGO fans, it's me, the LEGO fanboy one, and I'm doing a Ninjago Wave 3, which is the Green Ninja uh, set review. It's the Fangpire Rattlecopter, just says Rattlecopter there. 327 pieces, set number 9443. Recommended ages 8 through 14. Because with three figures, which are Lloyd, Fang Sway, which drives the thing, and Kai ZX. Uh, I'm kind of confused right now because I thought Lloyd was commanding them, but, uh, well, sorry, uh, Lloyd was commanding them, and I'm like, oh, that's kind of wrong, I don't know. I have no idea, I never knew the story. Well, I know this, uh, the first five episodes that I've seen. Um, it's pretty cool, and if you were wondering why I was holding it, it was because that it was falling over, because it's been folded up. Uh, there are the four staffs, I already have all the four staffs from... Four sets, which are this one, Jay, my Stormfighter, Kai's Blade Cycle, and the Venomari Shrine. So, but what? Uh, I'll talk to me about that later. Uh, poison Missile Shooters uh, and Mini Snake Bomb Drop. Uh, I did a little video just before, like I tried to do this, but I deleted it because I spent five minutes and all I was doing was talking about the box and the instruction manual. So you get one instruction manual which just shows you how to build. Uh, in between there are weapons, has this little picture, a few different weapons which I've checked off. Uh, the three, uh, all the sets that are coming, all I need are this one, are Cole's Tread Assault, Fang Pyre, Truck Ambush, and Destiny's Bounty. And then in the back you have like, oh I can get Lego Club Magazine and stuff. Uh, and it, it, here it shows all the booster packs, which are right here, and a few of the new spinners. Uh, some of the characters right here, and some of the other stuff. Uh, Ninjago.com, and it shows an iPad, some kind of smartphone, and a laptop. So that's it for that. Uh, get a sticker manual, or sticker sheet, sorry, I couldn't speak. I can't speak tonight. Okay, so, hold on, before I forget, forget, uh, I forgot in the, uh, Lego Star Wars at Christmas Advent Calendar stuff, uh, the recap, I forgot the extra pieces and stuff, so, here in the extra pieces you get, a few little Technic pins and stuff, little supports or whatever, and a few gold studs, and this Constrict Eye symbol. I already have all four staffs from the four sets. I think I already said that. But, yeah. Well, those over. I'm going to be sorting them out from the Christmas advent calendar thing, which is another thing I was talking about. But we'll get on to that in my blog. So, or in my up monthly update. So, here's Lloyd minifigure. But first, we're going to check out his weapons. Um, first, we have the Constrict Eye Stav. The staff is like everybody else's, or like all the other staffs and stuff. It's pretty cool. I like this symbol. The best symbol, though, I have to say, goes to Venomari because it looks like a little fire. Then it goes to Fangpire, Constrict Eye, and Hypnobri. But for my favorites, um, f things, it would be Fangpire, Hypnobri, Venomari, then Constrict Eye. So. Oh, sorry. Here's uh, another weapon. It's like a sideways lightsaber hilt on a little golden clip piece with lightning. There's li a few lightning in different sets. Like, I don't think there's any in Star Wars, but there was one in the castle, and there's a been a few in Ninjago and stuff. So, that's that weapon. Now we'll get on to Lloyd. Lloyd, of course, has his little cape, which I kind of bent. If you're wondering how that's possible, it's kind of got a little dent right there. It comes with a little Jedi hood kind of thing. Here he is. He's got like a little green collar, if you can see up there. Uh, purple belt, un unposable legs, the like skeleton type of th type of shirt with a five right there. And on the back. Nothing, but he's uh, got a two-sided head, so he's scared because the snakes are coming after him or whatever. 
and then he's happy because he's like winning or something. So that's Lloyd. Uh, here's Kai ZX. Uh, comes with two of these golden daggers, well, the golden part, and then just the lightsaber hilt. Uh, I'm gonna quickly take off his jetpack, which I'll show you guys. Uh, quick after. So, here is his helmet. There's like ninja mask helmet. It's pretty cool. And then he's got a normal face. He's got his everyday ninja uh, ninja face, which are on any other ninja set. Um, what I really like about the Ninjago, I've looked at some of the other sets, and their Z axes, there are different things. Because um, in my guy, I have a little pad here, like uh, one shoulder pad. He's got like equal pad and stuff. He's got his little symbol on the back, clip or into the belt. And I like the colors, it's like red and then like maroon type for the arms. So that's it. That's him. I'll get to uh Fang's way later. Uh here's his jetpack. It's pretty cool. I like how it's built with the ray guns and uh the speaker or whatever. I like it. And now for the main show. I was kinda disappointed in this. Uh also before I begin, it retailed for three four ninety nine. Got it for the same price, so no deal. But oh well. Um, you he, he, you see the Fang Pyre symbol, and yeah, over here uh, you have the two movable parts. Right here, you have uh, two movable poison dart. Sorry, the fire missiles. Which are pretty easy to build. It comes with four of them. Uh, it's got the cool rotate. I can't, I can't really get it to rotate that well, because it kind of shakes like that. So, yeah. And then here is Fang Sway. Fang Sway is a pretty. I like all the guys with the special molds, like uh, like his head. Um, the other Ninjago guys, they have like hats that extend down to their backs or whatever. So. Here's his back. It's pretty cool. Uh, two large buck teeth fangs type of things. It's good detailing on the head, eyes, and stuff. Uh, bat. Uh, uh, saber teeth, or kind of like teeth type of thing. Two little, or, er, well, not two, sorry. A few different, like, kind of like scales or whatever. So, like, here's the cockpit. Uh, you can see there's a little control panel there. His eyes are pretty cool. I like the eye part. Uh, I was wondering what this was for, and this is uh, the rattlecopter's teeth. Because, of course, everything the fang fire bites is, becomes living. Um, in the back we have the little stabilizer which can go up or down or whatever and you can twist it and and stuff so uh, and here is where the snake bombs drop and you get to the snakes which the person grabbed onto grab their tails if they want so yeah, overall, it's a fine set. Uh, I was kind of excited about it because it looked super cool in the movie. Uh, but, uh, oh well. If you, it would be pretty cool if they made it all look like in the movie. But, oh well, you can't be perfect. So, my rating on this, 7.5. It's not the greatest set. Uh, didn't really come with many features and stuff. If they can have added a few more features, um, make it like the little, make kind of like the skeleton helicopter, which I might do a comparison video of, like the little thing to let the, jeez, crap, uh, the little string down or whatever, that would have been cool. 
like that would that would have made it a little bit better, and that would have got it to at least a nine. So um, yeah, I think I forgot to mention the sticker sheet. So um, yeah, please comment, rate, subscribe, keep checking for more videos, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.